By the time you're done watching this video, you're going to be turning into a robot typing out blogs all day long. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith. Over the last eight years, I've been helping thousands of business owners all over the world grow online. Now it's my passion to help nonprofits. By watching my content and allowing me to help you, you'll also be benefiting and helping nonprofits. We're currently looking to invest in nonprofits and help them grow. So if you're involved or know any of them, please include them in any of my links and we'll reach out and help them. Now, part of this video is going to really help you learn how to start using AI for your blogs and your content marketing. We know how important Google is. We know how important it is to get search traffic. Well, I'm going to break it down into six steps, how we learn how to use AI to get blogs to rank on the first page of Google in less than a month. So if you're interested in checking that out, make sure you comment new. If you're new to my channel, I'll send you this exact playbook so you can copy and paste it and start learning and start making AI blogs for your own website. Now, why do we do blogs? We already know people search on Google all the time. Well, this strategy is not only going to help you with your Google search ranking, but it's also going to help you with YouTube rankings, which we know Google owns YouTube. So they work together. YouTube videos and blogs work together. So if you follow this six step process here, you're going to be able to use AI to come out with blogs that not only rank on the first page of Google, but also videos that will rank on the first page of Google also. So you ready to get started? Let's jump in. So step number one is to do your research on Google and even do your research on YouTube. You want to think about your audience, what your audience is looking for, what you help your audience without the most. What are you the expert in? What's your business all about? Even if you're e-commerce, you know, what are your products that people might type into Google to find you or what are, what's something that types into YouTube? Even if you're a nonprofit, what are your volunteers and donors looking to get involved in? You want to write blogs about that and make videos about that. So you're answering those questions. You're there for them. You're the expert, neither the nonprofit or your business and your blogs are showing up at the top, answering and helping them. So what we want to do is we want to start with Google. We want to type in some keywords that we may be, we think our audience may be interested in. So as an example for this video, I know that people are skeptical to do AI blogs. They are worried about quality. They're worried about if Google's going to pick up on it. Um, if they think if they do it, it might hurt their website. Well, if you follow this strategy, it'll actually benefit your website because you're going to do it completely different. You're going to do a personal hands-on approach to these blogs instead of just using AI to do them for you. And we'll jump into that in step number two. But step number one is to start searching for some topics. And when you do a Google search for a topic, mine is an example. I typed in AI content marketing 2023. Now, when I first typed in content marketing, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blogs with that exact word, content marketing, right? Everybody's doing that. So you want to add a couple other words in there that maybe these other big time companies have not thought of, or they were just very general. So when you do your search, you want to be super specific. You might only get a hundred searches a month, but a hundred is better than none, right? So these other companies are getting thousands, but they've also spent thousands to get there. So you want to try to capture the hundreds. So you want to have a little bit longer, three to four different words in there that your customer might type in. And then you can show up number one for that. So for this specific video and blog, I typed in AI content marketing 2023. That's four words. Now I searched and there's no one else that has that combination. They have content marketing 2023. They have tactics, they have strategies, they have tips, but no one has the four there. And that's what you want to look for. You want to find three to four words that no one else has done a blog on in the right order. Because if you can really strategize that and dial that in, you'll be able to get there a lot easier. Then you want to take that same search and go to YouTube and see if somebody created a video about that, because most likely they might be higher. You, if you haven't started a video yet, you haven't made a video on this topic yet. Um, so you want to see if there's any competition. If you can get one word difference than your competition, it's definitely going to help. All right. So that's step number one. Step number two is to put in your topic and ask chat GPT, go into chat GPT, and ask ChatGPT to create you a video outline. So this is a little bit different. We're not gonna to go to ChatGPT and say, create, write a blog for me. We want them to create a video outline based on the topic that you wrote. 
I have a prompt in our playbook. So once you grab the playbook, feel free to copy and paste that prompt. It's basically saying, please write me a video outline on this topic. And you would just copy and paste your topic in there. What ChatGPT is going to do is create you an outline. So this is going to give you a six uh, step process. And in this prompt, you want to ask them specifically to write you a, a process. So for mine, this one right here is a six step process. We're on step number two, how to create the outline in ChatGPT. So this blog is going to rank because I'm giving it a step process. So it can be a three, four, five, six, ten 10 step process. And that's what you want to ask ChatGPT to give you that outline. So ask it to give you a six step process for your topic. All right, step number three, this is going to be the little tricky part. You're going to have to make a video. So if you haven't made a video yet, you know, you might be nervous. I've got something called the video marketing playbook where I tell you how I was really nervous making these videos it really took me six months to start making them. But in the playbook, I give you the exact steps to make videos like this, just to make it easier for you, almost like a copy paste that you can do. It really is helpful with the bullet points, how to structure, how to record yourself, how to post it. It's the complete cheat sheet for you to start making videos. And you really have to make a video for this AI blog strategy to work. So I want to encourage you not to be scared and to just start making these videos. So you're using the video for Google, for SEO. And why it's so important is you're going to make this video in step three, where you're talking about each one of your step processes that we had Jet, chat GPT make for us in step two. So this video in my head, I've got my six step process. We covered the first one, how to find your keyword. The second one, how to do the outline with chat GPT. Now, step number three is you have to make a video. So now every single step I'm going to talk about, and I really only need those steps in my head. And then I can follow those with the information that I've, I'm knowledgeable about, right? I'm an expert in this. I've been doing it over 10 years. So what are you an expert in? What are you the most knowledgeable about? Bust out those three to six steps or bullet points, and it's going to be a lot easier for you to make a video like this. Once the video is done, you're going to grab the transcriptions. We use a software called bead.io. I'll put the link in the playbook so you can start using that. And what it does, it allows you to make that video and then it allows you to download those transcriptions um, at no cost. All right, step number four, you're going to take those transcri transcriptions from your video. Now you're going to put them back into chat GPT and you're going to say, hey, here's my transcription from my video. Can you please write me a blog outline based on my transcription? So now what that chat, your chat GPT has is has your video outline and then you're asking it to make you a blog outline and why this works so well is because these are your original words. They can't find these words you made in the video anywhere else on the Internet. So if you just go ask chat GPT to make you a blog, they're going to go steal other people's content. Google's going to pick up on that. But Google doesn't know what I'm saying right now. This is my content. This is coming from my head. This is totally different. I misspell things. I say things wrong. I say things out of order. Um, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So we don't want a perfect article where everything, you know, is copied paste from someone else. That's why these videos are so powerful to use your transcriptions to drive your blog, which not only will make Google think that you're awesome because you're speaking as an expert, but it's also going to sound personal, right? We're going to build a relationship with your audience through this blog because it's more personal than just a, a robot writing it for you. Step number five, this is the cool part. So then we take our, our new outline from ChatGPT and we plug it into a software called Reword. That's my favorite one to use. Reword thinks of your blog based on what your audience is searching for. So they also include the SEO score for you. So you know if it's long enough, you know if you have enough headings, you know if you have enough images, it's going to give you a perfect score or it's going to give you a score then you can perfect it to give it 100 out of 100 score and that's really the key here so when you plug your outline from chat gpt into reword it's going to give you questions that your audience would be typing into google and if you're the expert and answer those questions in this blog that's how you get to number one on the google search results so once you get that blog into reword make sure it's long enough make sure it has the right headings which they'll guide you they'll basically tell you what to do there um, they'll even do it for you, most likely, if you just click a button. And then it'll expand on each topic of your outline. So it'll take what ChatGPT came out with, take your transcriptions, and it'll create a perfect blog using your quotes, using what you said in this video, uh, using everything, and then giving you an SEO score. So then you know where to add some images. 
you know exactly how long it needs to be, you know where to put certain headings, you know where to add links, internal and external links. And this is gonna give you the most amazing blog you've ever seen. I'm impressed every time I get a blog from my videos because it's me. It's talking for me, it's building a better relationship, and it's high, high quality. Step number six, images. Google is like YouTube with images. So this video I'm making you right here is gonna include the blog. It's also gonna include my original images. So if somebody types in anything about AI content marketing 2023, it's gonna show the blog, it's gonna show the videos, and it's gonna show all of my images that are original. So what I'm gonna do is use Canva. We don't wanna to go to Google and copy and paste things because then you're gonna have duplicates. So come up with a theme. I have a theme in Canva. Put your brand guidelines in, your color codes, your logo, everything. Then you can go save images from Google and copy and paste it into Canva. So now you have an original image. You've got your colors with whatever image you found on Google. You can also use Canva stock photos to put in there just so they're relevant. Then you wanna name each one of those images to be the exact step. So right now, I'm, let's say I'm talking about step number three that I went over today. I would create a Canva image and then I would drag and drop an image of somebody recording themselves making a video. And then the title would be step three, how to rec record a video for blogs. Now Google's gonna pick up on the keyword from that image and it's gonna see it's original, no one else has that. And it's gonna look really nice in the blog. So use Canva to create images for each one of your steps. Now it's time to publish. You've got a blog, it's long enough, it's got the right headings, it's got the right links, it's original, you got the transcriptions from your videos, you've got all the images in there, put it in your website, make sure everything looks great, make sure you save those images, you title them, you put the alt text in, and last but not least, upload this video to YouTube. Once it's uploaded and published on YouTube, copy your link and put it at the top of your blog. So now you've got your full blog, 2,000 words, all structured, looking nice, and your YouTube videos right above it. So now Google sees that you're also using YouTube and they're gonna give you a little extra boost. So when somebody searches for your content, whatever your keywords and title was, you're gonna show up with the images, with your blog, and even with your video. And that's what's really gonna explode your website and get you more visitors, more leads, and more customers, which is really the key. So if you guys need any help with this, you know, make sure you comment new, I'll send you the playbook. You wanna download this, copy and paste it. You need to do it weekly at least. So once a week, you can hire a virtual assistant on Fiverr. I'll put my Fiverr affiliate link in the description so I can re refer you the best one, or you can just do it yourself. But if you really wanna grow your business, this is so easy. It's, I mean, it's copy and paste, right? So make sure you grab the playbook. I'm looking forward to seeing yours. When you're done with your first one, send it to me and I'll give you some feedback to let you know how I think you can improve. And remember, we're investing in nonprofits. Make sure you tag whatever nonprofit you're involved with in the comments, and I will follow up with them and help them out with some free playbooks. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.